Hi all, my name is Samir Main. I'm the content strategist here at Content Group. So recently I wrote a blog about Facebook dog posts or unpublished posts. And I was mentioning in the blog about how important it is for uh, government agencies to use Facebook dog posts. Well, what I decided now, I'm gonna show you a quick eight minute demonstration about how to do a Facebook dog post and the importance of it at all. So just follow me. So I'm gonna show you how to do Facebook dog posts. I think it's really important that you aren't just trying to talk to the audience that is already liking your page, but isn't liking your page. Use another demographic, try to reach them. Um, this is really helpful for government agencies. Uh, heaven forbid if there's a earthquake somewhere and if this is DFAT listening to this and they need to reach an audience that doesn't already like their, their page and they want to reach all the travelers in, let's say, um, London, they can do that using this Facebook dog post. Here we go, guys. So the first thing, you want to go to the ads manager on the left hand of the screen there. So there you go. So what you see here is a few of the old ads we've run previously. So... Once you get onto this page, the first thing you'll see is on the top hand of this top left hand of the screen, you'll have your manage dads, your account settings, billings, power editor. So we want to click on the power editor. This is the uh, the uh, back end of uh, the Facebook that uh, works its uh, incredible magic here. So you're loading your account. So we've got some tests here that we've previously run. So the first thing you do is you want to go to download to power edit editor. So you want to download any old ad sets that um, that haven't been downloaded. Downloading data, yep, that's fine. I'm, I'm happy to delete some stuff that hasn't been saved. So first things first. The first thing you want to do is go to create campaign. What you're going to be doing is creating a campaign, creating an ad set, and an ad. You need to create all three of these for your, for your campaign or your ad to actually work. You can't just create one. So for the purpose of this, we're going to call this test one. We'll do a, a fixed price uh, and the goal, let's say, is to get some uh, clicks to the website. Now we're gonna choose an ad set, test one again and then create a new ad, and we'll call it test one. Real nice and simple. So what you'll see there, test one has been run. That's the fixed price. I can of course change the name later when I, I want to. So now I go to add sets. Let that load. I've got a budget here of $350. Now, let's say I wanna change this budget to $1,000. And now I'm, I want to start it on, let's say, the 10th of August and run it all the way to the 10th of September. I can change the time to 12 p.m. And now we get to the audience bit. So this is really important here, guys. This, you can get so specific. You can get to the point where you can talk to people who have recently just traveled to an area or had recently just purchased something. Let's say if you're AC, if you're the health department and you know you want children to get vaccinated, you want to send them messages just to those people, you can do that. You it gets I mean, it gets so so specific. You can also have custom audiences if you've created one. So for right now the potentials we can reach 3 million people between the ages of 18 to 25. We of course don't want to reach 3 million people. That doesn't really work out in terms of financially. So for us here at Content Group, we have personas, we have uh, we have an audience that we want to capture that make decisions at high levels of government. And we assume that they're somewhere between the ages of maybe 40 to 60 years old, let's say for this example. That, of course, just minimized the reach to 4 million people. But now we're talking to government audiences. Right now you, you get a map, so we talk to government audiences. So we're gonna to talk to people based in Canberra. We want, it shows me based in Canberra in 25 mile radius, which um, it should actually change to make it kilometers, but. It is an American-based company. So we also want to reach Sydney, and we'll say 25 miles for Sydney. Melbourne as well, because there are government offices in Melbourne, and that's fine. So there we go. We've got that. Now our reach is 1.7 million. Now we can talk about their education level, their work, who employs them, employees. So we could say, let's say government 
the ACT government, for example, the Australian government, if you're trying to uh, speak to people in the, the health department, you can actually search up the health department as well. So it really, really helps. It also shows you people who like your page. You don't want to actually talk to them. You want to exclude people who like your page. They already like your page. You don't want to spam them with material. We want to go to English. English all. You have to, it's best to go English all as opposed to English UK or US, depending on what the person set their Facebook to be. So we can go to business and industries, uh, depending on, you know, who you want to talk to. So here, you know, we'll social media, marketing, optimization, uh, content marketing, of course. Um, we want to do political communication, liberal party, labor party, of course. You know, Tony Abbott, for example, um, Malcolm Turnbull, Julie Bishop. So what you're going to do is also be uh, talking to people who actually like their pages, who like, you know, Tony Abbott's page, Malcolm Turnbull. Ju so you're, you're getting real specific. Um, viral marketing, SEO, you know, marketing communication. So there's so many things you can do here. And as you go to behaviors, it even gets more even more, more, more technical. So people who've used the travel app, people who've returned from their trip two weeks ago, Facebook can figure this out. Um, people who've traveled to the Netherlands, you know, things like that. So you can get really specific about what they're doing. Um, let's say if you're, a, you know, a health department, you want to talk to people who are in Sri Lanka, for example, and there's been a flood in Sri Lanka and, you know, you want to tell them, guys, make sure that you keep your paperwork safe. You can do that. Even though they don't like your page, you can still reach those people. These are the people that you want to be talking to. You can go and go to categories. So, you know, expats from all these different kind of countries. So this is what's really great. You can, uh, you could see now that our reach, because it got so specific, we can only reach 20 people. So... For the purpose of this, you'll, you'll be reaching them. Now, think about it. For 20 people, you're paying $1,000. That's not really the greatest thing in the world. But for, the, for this example, I will guarantee you that you will reach these 20 people for the amount of money you're paying here. Um, what you really look for is you want to get a click rate of about $0.60 cents per click or, or per engagement. So once that's done... Um, you want to go down to the bottom of the page and go to placement. I'm not a big fan of the right column of the screen. To me, that's really spammy. That's stuff that nobody ever reads. You want to get in the middle of their screen, right in the section where everybody pays attention. Um, and now you go to ad, and you can you can create your ad or create any ad that you want. We, of course, go to the content group page. Um, I can take the... I'll go to our content group website here. Um, I will... Copy that, paste it, paste it there, just bear with me, here it comes, and look at that, beautiful, just came up with our image, with our title, a little recap of what, we, what we're doing, I can of course edit it in the newsfeed link description, I can edit the headline if I like, I can do, and then I can also enter text, and then um, at the end of course there's the tracking on this page, and you know, this is the URL tracker. I, I assume that everybody uses this so you know who clicks on your link, um, where they came from, what's working, what's not. You know, you shouldn't use the same URL link when you're posting on Twitter and Facebook. So you can get a real understanding of who's giving, which social media page is giving you the most traffic. And uh, once you're all done with that, you just go to upload changes. A little screen will pop up telling you that uh, bear with us while Facebook reviews your page. And once they do that, they'll get back to you and you're good to go. This is a really good way to reach an audience that you haven't really spoken to yet. It's one of the uh, great tools that Facebook has and I recommend everybody use this. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please reach us at, at Content Group on Twitter or you can contact us at info at contentgroup.com.au. Thank you very much guys and I'll chat to you guys soon. <laughs>